So I'm a little bit nervous about filming my Panic Games update because I have finished a lot of items. I knew that I was going to finish a lot of items, but I didn't expect to finish as much as I did, but I did. And some of these items I haven't even touched yet. So, and I won't be touching them for a while, so I know that this is going to go on longer. But I finished a lot. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I know someone's going to say something. No, I don't eat my eyeshadows. I promise. I promise. I promise. I don't eat them. Just consistency is key. I just want to put that out there right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into what I finished for the panning games, which the intro was so much fun. I loved watching everybody's intro to go ahead and pull 24 items out in 30 seconds. That was a little, that was a little stressful, but you know what? We have a year to go ahead and complete these items, so it's all good. Everybody that is in this collab, they will be listed down below. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab, so Trust me, the intro was a lot of fun. Even if you just do the intro and don't even update for six months, the intro makes this. This is, this is perfect. Okay, enough rambling. I'm going to get into what I finished. I finished the, Mat the Matrix Total Results Conditioner. This is one of those hotel things. And then, of course, I also finished the Rosen in um, Shampoo and Conditioner. This was in White also hotel stuff which yay and I finished the Caudalie Vino Source Cream Sorbet and you know I lost the lid but this stuff sucks still don't like it gone through a few of them still smells like crayons still don't like it I went with the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream I really enjoyed this I actually what I really enjoyed this is about the squeezy tube that this comes in right here. I really, I really like that. I got a kick out of that. The, the, I thought that that was very, um, I like that better than a jar that you put it in. So I know that it stays sanitary. So I like that. And I finished the Living Proof uh, No Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream. The Living Proof stuff, I could take it or leave it, but you know, I'll, I'll use it up. I'll use it up. I just put it in my hair and scrunched my hair and got some curls and it stayed for a little bit and there you go so yeah the next thing is this mini of the Victor and Rolf flower bomb perfume I'll go ahead and I will show you the empty bottle I ended up putting it in a little uh, sprayer and I have no idea where it is but I did finish it in fact I'm on my 1.7 ounce one right now that I'm using so that's what that little cute little bottle looks like. Oh, nice and empty. And I will say this. This right here smells different than what's in the bottle. Which is crazy. But, you know, I'm I'm learning that. Like, the rollerball smells are different. They don't last as long. So, do not judge this perfume. Buy this. Actually, smell it in the store. And then I finished the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer, my last foil in my collection of this, thank goodness. And then the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Eye Foil, I enjoyed this a lot. And I also finished this Mary Kay card, and um, I finished it, and I have to say I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't remember their makeup being like this before um, but things have changed and it was years ago that I tried it and I especially hated that lipstick that was terrible it was slippery but you know whatever it's done it's out of my collection so happy okay this is where I'm a bit nervous so I finished the darling girl Mary Jane spectral shift you guys know how I am with spectral shifts if you've been following me for a while the spectral shifts kind of, um, they change the way things look, eyeshadows, highlighters, blushes on your lips. I mean, there's so many different ways to use them. So I go through these like, it, like they're nothing. So I like this. And then I finished all of these 
baggy samples right here. I finished the Darling Girl Neon Trees Inner Glow Blush. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I think I had gone through one of these before, and but it wasn't as scary. I do have to say it wasn't as scary, but then again, I did use a spectral shift on top of it. So I went and finished the Darling Girl Midnight Bling ba baggy sample blue. This was pretty blue, however it scared me. And Darling Girl the Savior Operation Sparkle. That one was really nice, I like that one. Dawn Eyes Cosmetics Co uh, Confessionistas. Dawn Eyes Cosmetics Twisted Teal. I really enjoyed this shade. This was really pretty. And then the Glamour Doll Eyes uh, Sample Baggie in Imitation. I did not like this shade at all. It is not what it appears to be. This one was ugly. One of my favorite ones was this Dawn Eyes Cosmetics in, in Mom Bun. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, this is the Glamour Doll Eyes and an Astronaut. I can't talk today. And I enjoyed this one as well. It was nice. And then the Dawn Eyes Cosmetics Last Light of Sunlight, or Last Light of Sunset, sorry. And it's actually what I have all over my lid. I was using it, you know, my lower lash line. I got pretty much, I ended up getting a few days out of these, and I always try to find a way to incorporate more than one with my Naked 3. So that is why I was able to go through them. So I do want to go ahead and give you a rundown, sort of, of what I do have left. I have got, I'll, in fact, I'll show you right here. I have some of them pressed in my Moon Dust palette. I've got the Dawn Eyes Cosmetics in Princess Peach right here. This one right here has a lot of uh, shadow surprisingly for the baggy sample it was the one that had the most in it so I was pleasantly surprised by that and then I have got two more baggies of the Darling Girl Coral Kiss blush and I have got the Ulta Beauty tinted eye primer it's just one of the samples and then I've got a full size of the Darling Girl loose powder and I, the face powder, and then I've got two Darling Girl Matte Eyeshadows. One of them is in Matte About You, and the other one is in Wild Hearts. Some of these I plan on saving until I am panning the Vice 4 next year, and in case you guys didn't know, that is what I'm panning. So, um, I'm gonna keep going. I haven't even touched those items yet. So, I will get to them. So, yeah, this, this has been a really interesting update, and I have been kind of putting it off for as long as possible. That's crazy, right? It's, it's irrational. We're supposed to be using our stuff up. It doesn't matter. That's what I keep telling myself. It doesn't matter. The whole point is to use our stuff up. So I did. I used some stuff up, and yeah. Be sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time, and don't forget to go ahead and check out everybody down there in the description box below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.